Hi everybody, my name is Jerry and welcome to the channel and this video. Now I'm doing something a little different today. I normally make gaming videos and post them on YouTube, but I also work in theater as a stage manager and a scenic carpenter. So I really love carpentry and woodworking and I do a lot of different passion projects uh, with that. And so I wanted to make a series showing the different projects that I work on and how I build them and make them. So today, I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful, modern, mid-century nightstand. Let's get to it. I start by ripping my plywood to 14 inches. And here I'm using cabinet grade, three quarter inch birch plywood for the body of the nightstands. I really liked the grain of the birch and thought it would look really beautiful when it was all finished. And after ripping the plywood, I then uh, cut it to length on the miter saw, um, cutting it to 56 inches. I then start the process of kerf bending. Now kerf bending is when you make multiple cuts uh, without going all the way through the material, which allows you to then bend the material. And there's there's a lot of math that's involved with how, you know, how thick your material is, how far you want it to bend. Uh, but luckily there's a website that figures all of that out for you and I'll link it in the description below but using that site I was able to figure out all of my measurements and what I needed to do to get the, the three inch uh, curve bend that I wanted so after making all those marks I then proceed to make 108 cuts to be able to make the bends
Now here, I wanted to show you just a demonstration of how the plywood bends after making, uh, making the cuts. And it's really cool and scary at the same time. You, in your head, you're thinking, oh, wood shouldn't bend like this, but with all of those cuts, it does. And it's just a really cool technique and it's really cool to see the wood bend like that. With all the cuts made, it's now time for the glue up. Now in my measurements, I left one and three quarter inch gap at the top, which I then use a strip of walnut uh, to run down the middle of the nightstands to, to fill that gap in. Now here I have a little bit of trouble getting it to, to stay in place and to be able to get a nice firm fit and with the clamping. Uh, so next time I'll, I make these, I'll use a, a dowel or some sort of biscuits to, to help lock it in place and get more of a snug fit. And here's the bodies of the nightstands after the glue up. And the hardest part is now done. Now it's time to work on the baseboards that will hold the legs for the nightstands. So here I'm cutting a strip of plywood to eight inches, and then I will rip it to eight inches on the table saw to make a square. And then mark where I want to drill the holes that will hold the oak dowels, which will be my legs. I then made a jig to hold the baseboard at the angle that I wanted the legs to sit at. And after getting the baseboard in place, I then used the drill press to drill the holes.
Now it's time for the glue up of the legs. Once the glue is set, I then use a pole saw to make the top of the baseboards flush. Here I'm ripping half-inch oak that I will use as a facing to cover the edge of the plywood of the bodies of the cabinet, of the nightstand. And after the ripping, I will then cut 45 degree angles to make a picture frame, which once attached, I'll use a router with a flush trim bit to make nice and flush. Now it's time to make the drawers. Uh, I didn't do anything too fancy with the drawers. Simple box, uh, made it 16 inches wide, uh, 14 inches deep and two inches tall. the drawers made it's time to install them I used uh, full extension drawer slides to help give the drawer good support when it's opened and here I'm just lining thing everything up to be nice and even
See, now here I quickly realized that one drawer slide in the middle wasn't going to be enough. So I had to rethink my design and I added a second drawer and evened them out to help give support all the way across. And here is a little demonstration of what the drawer looks like after I did that. With the drawers done, I then cut a strip of plywood that was the height of the drawer opening and then proceeded to use the sander to slowly sand it down to where it fits the curve of the drawer, op drawer opening. And with the drawers, the body of the cab of the nightstands and the legs all ready to go, it's time for the finishing oil. Here I used rosewood oil. I really like how it just brings out the natural beauty of the wood, it just really makes the grain pop. And it's one of my favorite uh, finishing oils to use. And this is always my favorite part of any project. With everything all oiled up and finished, the only thing that's left is to put it all together. And here you go. Nice stands put together and all finished.